Well, one thing that uh, you had a, a lot of eyes on you for was this drag queen thing. I saw mm. Steven Crowder went to one, or he had undercover people at one recently in a smaller town. I forget the name of it in Texas. Uh, Ron uh, did you see that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And Bryson Gray tells me he's on his way to Texas in the coming months um, to, to visit one as well. Uh, do you, what other, let's say, genres of degeneracy will go with? Do you see yourself really wanting to be on the quote unquote front lines? And for audio listeners, we mean non violent <laughs> lines. Um, it, do you think this is the most important thing right now? Obviously, it's a gross, weird attack on children. And any parent who's there, I would be like, I don't trust you with children if you think this is a good place to take them. Do you see any other uh, metaphorical battlegrounds as? imminent as that right now no i think that probably is the most important and i mean even we've been prophesizing this for decades that you know eventually they're going to come for the kids and now it's happening and we have no plan and i went to one of these events back in june i think and i i brought people with me and we tried to uh, attract media attention to it and then we did and then there was legislation that was uh, drafted to be introduced to ban these types of events with minors. And I was excited. I was like, okay, this is good. This is the right direction. And then I remember thinking to myself, I pray to God that this is not one of those things that everybody gets excited about for a few, for a few days and then it just fizzles out. And then that is precisely what happened. You know, I, I have tried to call in favors. I've tried to follow up. And it's basically, you know, it was all a thing where people were getting angry about it. They were getting attention. And then, you know, we had this legislation drafted and we've heard nothing. And I mean, this is the easiest thing in the world. You're not talking about like fundamentally restructuring tax policy or entitlement <laughs> policy. You're talking about just like making kids unable to be abused by their parents and like groomed by these transvestite strippers but even that like we can't get the ball rolling on and so i've been meaning to set some time aside after i get this next video out to like literally just sit and think to myself about how we could actually go about doing something about this but i just i just don't see it and so you know a lot of people uh they want to go there they want to own them they want to shut them down but like ultimately, they're just going to host another one and, and nothing is going to really be done about it. I mean, we can go there, we can maybe try to shut one of them down, but there's a hundred others taking place throughout the country. So until we really think about how to go about this uh, in a strategic way, it's just going to keep happening and it's just going to get worse. And, uh, you know, these Antifa people, these LARPers, where is this going, by the way? I'm trying to gauge how profane I can be. You can be as profane as you want, John Doyle. This is on my personal stuff. These people, well, you're gonna get maybe, shirtless. But... Is that what's happening? No, 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 that's for uh, only if it's going on onlyfans.com slash Andrew shows. Uh, but you know, these people <laughs> they're standing out there and they're LARPing. You've got these skinny little uh, theater kids, and they're out there and they've got these AR 15s. And what they're mm -hmm. doing is they have two separate groups of these Antifa of them that is being belligerent and they're getting in the faces of the counter protesters, they're pushing them, they're spitting on them, and they're just hoping that somebody retaliates, at which point an Antifa person who's armed is just going to shoot them dead in the street. Now, they have this plan, they have this set up, uh, and of course, you know, 50 or not even 50, they couldn't get that many, but you know, 15 armed Antifa people all wearing the same black block, all carrying the same types of weapons. They didn't just by happenstance or coincidence show up at this event. This was planned. This was coordinated. But according to our you know, Department of Justice, Antifa is just an idea. It's a movement. It's not actually a group, which, of course, is bullshit. But, yeah, they're literally planning on killing anybody that plans to severely disrupt uh, that type of event or even retaliate to the aggression from the left. And the right's answer is just to kind of like, you know, dunk on them and say how wrong it is and call them groomers and perverts and what have you. But we really need something uh, that has more teeth than that. Like, and even, you know, if, if there was a situation, the police don't care. I mean, there were people who were on video being spat on, being shoved, being assaulted by these people, and nothing was done about it. The police didn't do anything about it. So until we really get some sort of way to send cops into these places and arrest these people and arrest Antifa people on site under RICO, uh, you know, after we label them as domestic terrorists, which they are, and they're really the only domestic terrorists that you see in mass in this country, but we just don't have the institutional power to do that. And so in the meantime, we'll just kind of, you know, occupy our time by showing up to these events and making a big scene. And I'm not, I'm not saying that's bad. I'm just saying there's eventually going to have to be something more than that. I did that back in June because I thought that that was going to be the catalyst to getting something done about that. Uh, and, you know, the footage was played on Tucker. It was viral on Twitter, but uh, it sort of fizzled out. And so we really just need, you know, some sort of planning that, that we just don't have yet.